across the border, which is what we had been looking forward to. But because of COVID norms, we could not do it. Right. Now that we are almost about 90 plus percent, four doses of vaccines done, we feel very safe. And we also have been observing that uh, uh, situation across the border on COVID is also very comfortable. So now we will, uh, we will be happy to uh, interact. But as you all have realized, uh, we will not be able to uh, allow Bhutanese to go out as usual, as well as uh, people across the border to come in as usual. So we need at least some documents. Right. For Bhutanese also, we will, we, will, we will make sure that they carry either their ID card or passport with them. Uh, for Indians also to come, uh, we will also request at least to have passport or voter's ID. Okay. And then when you're coming in, we need to have a specific reason. Either you're coming in, going inside to work, they are most welcome. Or you must have your work permit. If you're going to come into these uh, bordering towns as a day worker, you're most welcome to work. But you must have a permit and a registration with Ministry of Labour. You want to go and roam around, see places, have a meal, have some a cup of tea or a glass of beer, you're most welcome. But you must have a similar pass with that. You want to go inside, uh, visit uh, Paro, Ha, Timpu, Punaka, you're most welcome. But you must have a tourist visa and you must have paid the immigration tourist visa and you must have paid the uh, minimal uh, sustainable development fee that we have, which we are very happy to. Uh, to let you know that on a very good friendly relation we are keeping at 1200 per day per night rest we are charging 200 dollars per day per night so we are very happy sir uh, uh, people are very impressed uh, to watch this system you have adopted this pedestal terminal so how did you plan it because earlier it was not there in mm -hmm. no, i mean earlier was not there but uh, this is i would say minimum things we must have between two countries. If we have good norms, if the norms, do's and don'ts, rules and regulations are understood and followed very clearly by people living across the border, I would say that is point number one to maintain our good relation for generations to come. So having good laws, understanding it and following it probably is the key to our uh, uh, relation for the future. So if uh, earlier the people from India, they are coming to visit uh, uh, as a day visitor in full ceiling. So now if they want to come to visit the full ceiling only yes. itself, yes. Uh, are they have to pay any, any charges? No, no, no. No. Those who are visiting us for a day and going out in the evening, mm -hmm. they are free. They are free up to Rinchenjing check post. Until which used to be the case. Right. So until then, uh, until Rinchining checkpoint, they can go around, uh, mix around, meet their friends, have a cup of tea, have lunch together, a glass of beer together. That's perfectly fine. They don't have to pay anything. But if they decide to stay here overnight, then they will be converted from day visitor yeah. to regular tourists. Regular tourist. Then they have to stay in a TCB, Tourism Council Certified Tourist Hotel, and pay the minimal SDF. So from where can the local vehicles get entered into Bhutan? Local vehicle, we have to register Register with the RSTA. We have to register with the authority like you used to do before. 